Hello, this is Nick with nickscomputerfix.com and here's a video that shows you how to upgrade your laptop memory. It's easy to do and so let's go ahead and get started. First thing we want to know is how much memory do we have presently in our laptop and the best way to go about doing that is go down to our start menu here in Windows 10, right click, move up and click on system once you do that you'll get a information window here and you get some device specifications right under that you'll see install RAM and in my case I have presently 8 gigabytes of RAM installed on this laptop computer and 7.88 gigabytes usable and I'm using a little bit of it for the OS presently and also some memory is being used for the shared video for the graphics on this laptop. Okay, let's see if we can get some more information if we dig a little deeper within Windows 10. Let me close this out and go down to our taskbar now and right click on that and then move up and click on Task Manager. Once you have Task Manager open, go ahead and click on the Performance tab and down on the left hand side here click on memory and if we enlarge this a little bit or maximize it rather we can see we have several graphs actually we have two that are active right now and over here we see that it says eight gigabytes and that's exactly the total number of um, gigabytes of memory that I presently have in my laptop here and if we go down and bypass these graphics this is um, the memory usage in use presently and then the memory composition right here however for what we are interested in is the information down here in use is 2.6 gigabytes and available is 5.1 gigabytes Okay, and also if we look over here, hardware reserve memory is 124 megabytes. What we are really interested in is the speed, and the speed of the memory is 2133 megahertz, and the slots used is two of two, and that's telling me there are two slots available within this laptop that I can insert memory in and this can be a little misleading because in actuality I only have one slot that I can put memory in and the other one is a embedded memory slot in other words the memory is soldered in on the motherboard I only have one memory slot that I can actually use but it is correct in saying there are two of two slots being used okay um, also the form factor it shows me that and we'll get to finding out why that's important in just a few moments. Now let me go ahead and close this out and we were able to get a lot of info through that method within Windows 10 or both of those methods actually. However that's still not enough to tell us exactly what kind of memory and how much and what's the max for this laptop. And I discovered quite a number of years ago, the easiest way to find that out is to go out to the Crucial website and I'm gonna open up Firefox and that's an internet browser of my choosing. You can open up yours, um, whatever you like and go out to this URL right here. And I'll put this in the uh, video description, by the way, the URL address. And once you're at the Crucial Memory uh, website, and you're at this page or on this page it'll run a tool for you and discover how much memory you have in your laptop what kind and what's the maximum amount so it is a awesome tool I can't say enough about it find a 100% guarantee compatible upgrade okay you can go down here and certainly you can do this all manually select your computer or motherboard and go through um, the process if you like however like I said there is a really easy way to go about doing that and that's using the scanner tool that they provide here 
and I'm going to just go ahead and click on I agree to the terms and conditions. Now I've used this a lot uh, for many years and Crucial has been in the business for many years and they have a good reputation so this tool is perfectly safe to use so go ahead and click on scan computer and in Firefox I'll get this prompt that asks me what I want to do with this file um, do I want to download it or do I want to save it or cancel it or whatever in this case I want to go ahead and save the file to my hard drive so I'm going to click on save file and that will download that file to my computer and I'm going to go up to the download arrow here and as you can see it is completed um, in its download process and I'm going to go ahead and click on that and when I do I get this user account message do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device and that and begins I'm say the scan yes. process once it's completed scanning your system let me go ahead and close this out I don't need this um, it'll come back and tells me this is an Acer Aspire A515-51 which is the Acer laptop that I am doing this um, video tutorial on. Let's go ahead and scroll down a little bit here and memory is what we are focusing on. It also tells you what your storage capacity is and also your chipset but um, if you're interested in that information, certainly go ahead and pursue clicking on those items and seeing what the rest of your specs are on your computer. However, this video tutorial is on memory. And on this laptop, it tells me I have um, one slot, one bank of one, maximum memory of 20 gigabytes, and standard memory of 12 gigabytes, four gigabytes non-removable. Now I only have um, eight gigabytes of memory installed on this computer, two four gigabyte um, sticks, and one of them is embedded or soldered on the um, motherboard, and the other one is installed on a single slot on the motherboard which is removable the other one is non-removable between the two I get a total of eight gigabytes of memory okay let me go ahead and move down a little bit here and as you can see compatible memory for um, this laptop computer that give me several options that I can choose from and the first one is if I wanted to upgrade it to 16 gigabytes or add another four gigabytes or do I want to add eight gigabytes or another eight gigabytes so if I was going to upgrade which I'm not but if I was I would go ahead and choose the maximum amount of memory that I can upgrade this to um, which is 20 gigabytes right here that it tells me and for 16 gigabytes and for 16 gigabytes and four gigabytes that's non-removable which is installed on my uh, motherboard like I said previously I can end up with 20 gigabytes of memory which is the maximum amount of memory on this laptop computer and that would run me hundred and twenty dollars and ninety nine cents now this is excellent memory from Crucial um, I've used it before and um, on many laptops actually and it's always been reliable However, um, if you choose to, you can always go out on the internet and go to other memory sites or eBay or Amazon or whatever and, um, you know, look for this memory here, which is what I would uh, recommend you look for is the at least 16 gigabytes um, DDR4, 2400, and SODIMM um, is what this laptop computer um, requires. Yours will differ and it'll tell you what kind you need and you can um, definitely search the internet and get a better price if you can find one. However, Crucial is very reasonable and competitive. Alright, um, the only other thing at this point is how to install the memory and we're gonna go ahead and jump over to 
um, the installation of memory, I will come back and reboot the computer and be back on the Windows desktop. Okay, here's the Acer laptop that I'm going to show you how to upgrade memory on. I went ahead and shut down Windows and it's powered off. And again, this currently has 8 gigabytes of memory. So let's go ahead and close the lid on this and flip it over. And right here is where the memory is located. And all we need is a Phillips screwdriver in this case to unscrew a single screw. And once it's removed, we can take the screwdriver and just kind of poke it underneath the lip here and be careful not to break any of the snaps. And it comes off. And by the way, be very careful with these screws that so it doesn't drop inside because then you would have to take the whole laptop apart to get that one screw out. Okay, um, let's go ahead and again, this is a single slot of 8 gigabytes of memory, um, correction, 4 gigabytes of memory. And the way you go about doing it, there's some clips on the side here and you just push them with your thumbs and it releases the stick of memory and then you just um, remove it from the slot. Let's go ahead and take a close-up look at the memory here. Um, it's from a data but any brand that's uh, you know a good brand out there will work. This is four gigabytes of DDR4 and uh, the way you put this back in is to make sure that the grooves in this case um, the short grooves are on the left side and the longer grooves are on the right. Just make sure that they are lined up and then go ahead and insert it right back into the slot. And once it's in place, go ahead and push it down and the clips automatically um, go ahead and move back into place to lock it. And then you grab the lid once again. And when you're putting the lid on, um, let me remind you, they have those little snaps um, on the lid. You have to be careful not to break them, so um, put it in place carefully and press down. And then uh, the screw, in this case it's a single screw. You may have more than one screw that you have to screw in. And then once it's tightened, um, you're good to go. Alright, let me flip this back over and we'll open up the lid and push the power button and power this back up with the first thing to be seen is the Acer logo and then it goes right into the Windows 10 login screen and then from there we're back on the Windows 10 desktop where you can go back into the system information window once you've upgraded your laptop memory and confirm that you do have additional memory if you have chosen to upgrade. And the way you go about doing that once again is simply go down to the start menu here and right click, go up and click on system. And once the system information window is open right under device specifications you can see the install RAM just to refresh your memory and I have 8 gigabytes I chose not to upgrade uh, my memory at this time but if I had it would show additional memory okay um, that's how you go about upgrading your laptop memory thanks for watching subscribe if you like and leave a like if you like